Hey guys, it's Ali, and it's time for your weekly dose of my beauty advice column. Today's question is from Olivia Dunham, who says, Dear Ali, I've been experimenting with makeup for about a year now because it's something I really love. My problem is with my friends. At first they made fun of my makeup, but now they're copying everything that I do. One of them even dyed her hair the same way as mine, a stripe of colour in the bangs, which she cut like mine too. It's making me not want to do anything anymore because they're just going to copy me. What can I do about cosmetic copycats? Okay, I'll level. I put that last little bit in there because I really love alliteration, but let's get back to the problem. Dearest Olivia, I have good news and bad news. The good news is this is a problem that has an expiration date. The bad news is the only way to hasten said expiration date is by changing stuff in your brain, and that can sometimes be really hard to do. So, okay, copycats. This is something that used to drive me absolutely crazy while I was in high school. I remember having a sobbing fit because another girl in my dance class bought the same oversized grey army print warm-up pants as I had. Like, I had them first. Who did she even think she was? Rage! The problem, as I now recognise it, was not actually with the pants. It was with identity. I was working hard to establish myself as an individual, and it felt bitterly unfair for someone to just sweep in like the east wind and replicate that without putting in any of the hard work. Someone else doing something that I did, whether it was how I wore my clothes, fixed my hair, or did my makeup, felt like they were stealing parts of me, like I was diminished somehow. For me, this feeling ended when high school did, which, weirdly, coincided with me becoming a lot more confident in who I am. Part of it was that I realised that identity is not a zero-sum game. Someone doing something to be more awesome is not going to make me less awesome, because there's not a finite amount of awesome in the world. If a friend buys the same perfume as me, it's not really taking anything away from me, because I'm still going to smell great. Similarly, someone dyeing their hair the same way as you doesn't make you look any less fantastic. See? It's not zero-sum. There's more than enough awesome to go around in the world, and for me, life got a lot easier when I figured that out. I'm also going to suggest an alternate angle to this situation. You say that your friend is copying you. I'm going to say maybe they're just inspired by you. I remember laughing at people who would tell me that imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, but the older I get, the truer I realise that really is. Nobody would be trying to do their hair or makeup like you if you didn't already do it so well. In this particular case, maybe the friend in question had always wanted to try something crazy with her hair, but was too scared to do it, and you showed her that she could. If you shine bright, you give other people the courage to do the same, and that's really awesome. And I know that this is true because it happened to me. I get a lot of messages and comments from people saying that they, you know, bobbed their hair or got bangs, bought a curling iron, tried pink lipstick, etc. because of me. Nobody's trying to single white female me or, you know, steal my life so that they can destroy my universe. They just feel a little bit braver and more inspired because they see that something can be done. And honestly, it's the best compliment ever. I know I'm in a bit of a unique internet-y position, but believe me when I tell you that none of this makes me any less special because other people are doing something similar. It makes all of us more. We're not competing, you know, we're collaborating. And I think that's brilliant. Alright guys, that's it for another week. I love hearing from you guys, so keep the questions coming. You can email me, you can tweet me, you can Facebook me. A uh, lot of stuff happening on Instagram lately, so you can do that too. Or you can holler at me in the comments, you know I read every single one. Until next week, you guys, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Oh, this one smells like plastic. Gross.